Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to everyone. Okay, so welcome back to our class. So today we're going to look into new chapter, which is chapter 9, Speed and Acceleration. Okay, for this chapter, we're going to learn about two things, okay. The first one is speed, 9.1. The second one is 9.2, acceleration. Okay, so for this class, we're going to focus on the first part first, okay. So 9.1, speed. Okay, before that, there are a few word link that you need to know for this chapter. Okay, so you need to familiarize these words. Okay, speed, distance, time, unit, acceleration, deceleration, average speed, uniform speed, non-uniform speed, and stationary. Okay. Okay, let's look over here. Why you need to study this chapter? Okay, so the knowledge in this chapter can be applied in the field of career such as automotive, engineering, astronauts, physics studies, sports, and, and astronomy. Okay, and many more actually. Okay. Okay, so there are a few learning standards uh, you need to, uh, that we're going to learn. Okay, for the first subtopic. Okay. So the first one is explain the meaning of speed as a rate involving distance and time. Okay, so the first one. Okay, speed as a rate. Okay, take a look at the uh, take a look at the back of a truck of or bus. Okay, there is a speed limit symbols for each of the vehicles. Okay, what does the symbols mean? Okay, what will the consequences be if the driver does not comply with the speed limit stated on the symbols? Okay, so uh, saya yakin dan saya rasa semua dah pernah nampak simbol macam ni. Betul? Okay, ini sebenarnya adalah salah satu contoh read. Okay, so for this uh, simulation, okay, you can try it yourself. Okay, so let's look to the conclusion. Okay. Okay. In the above act and in the activity above, okay, the first student has to complete the run in the shortest possible time, and the last student recorded the longest time. Okay, the students ran an equal distance, so the student's speed was the ratio of the distance over their running time. Okay, so in general, we know that okay, speed is actually equals to distance over time. Okay, sebab tu tadi kalau awak nampak belakang lori, belakang bas, dia ada tulis 80 km per hour. Okay, so km is distance per hour. Hour is time. Okay, so let's look at the first example. Aida walks to a shop over a distance of 100 meter in 5 minutes. Okay, calculate the speed. Okay, so how to calculate Ida's speed? Okay, so we know that the formula for speed is uh, speed is equals to distance over time. Okay, where the distance is 100 meter divided by the time is 5 minutes. So 5 minutes. Okay, so 100 divided by 5 is 20. Okay, and left us with the unit meter per minute. Okay, so you can write it as meter per minute. Okay, clear? Okay, next example 2. Khairul Hafiz and Badrul Hisham are young state sprinter. A sprinter ni yang pelari laju tu kan Dia macam 100 meter tu okay. During a 100 meter event Karol Hafiz finish in 10.18 second While Badrul Hisham finish in 10.25 second Calculate their speed respectively Okay So kita kira sorang-sorang Okay so speed So speed of Kairul Hafiz Okay So kita tahu Nak kira speed is Distance Divide by Time Okay So the distance is uh, 100 meter 
So 100 meter divided by how many second? 10.18 second. Okay, so you just press your calculator, 100 divided by 10.18, and you will get 9.82 meter per second. Okay, and then we have speed of Badrul Hisham. Okay, same distance over time. So the distance is the same, so 100 meter divided by time. What is his time? 10.25 second okay so press your calculator 100 divided by 10.25 you will get 9.76 meter per second okay okay so there are tips over here okay that uh boleh buat awak senang nak hafal okay make it easier to memorize the formula okay so you can uh memorize this triangle okay d s m where d is distance s is speed and m is time okay so if you want to calculate the speed okay speed you uh, tutup s which left you with d over M. So the formula for speed S is D over M. Okay, if you want to find M time, okay, what uh, to M, okay, which left you with D over S. So formula to calculate time is D over S. Okay, and if you want to find the distance, so simply uh, speed times time. Okay, uh, ini cara mudah nak ingat. Saya rasa semua dah hafal ni. Betul. Okay, so let's move to the next learning standard okay so uniform and non-uniform speed okay so this learning standard is I can describe the differences between uniform and non-uniform speed okay so let's look at the example for uh, the subtopic okay so we have two marbles okay marbles were A and marbles B Okay, where? Okay, awak boleh tengok sini. Okay, the distance between each marble is constant, right? Uh, 2cm, 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 2cm. And then, uh, for time between each marbles, okay, the distance travel is 1 second, 1 second, 1 second, and 1 second. And for marbles B, okay, perjalanan dia, uh, setiap saat ni, okay, each second is different okay for the first first second is two centimeter okay the second the next second is one centimeter suddenly the next second is two centimeter and the last second is three centimeter uh, so it is not uniform okay when you plot it on the graph okay for the marble a okay you can see it a straight line it will form a straight line Okay, while for marble B, when you plot it on the graph, you will get this type of graph. Uh, something yang tak lurus. Bengkang bengkok. Uh, okay, so what can we say about these two marbles? Okay, marbles A. Marbles A move at equal distance in equal interval of time. Thus, marble A moves at a uniform speed. Uh, dia bergerak tapi speed dia sama saja. Okay, therefore, uniform speed is the speed that covers equal distance in equal interval of time. Okay, ini keyword dia di sini. Okay, equal distance, okay, in equal interval of time. Itu maksud uniform speed. Okay, while for marble B, okay, marble B moves at unequal distance in equal interval of time. Thus, marble B moves at a non-uniform speed. Therefore, non-uniform speed is the speed that covers uh, unequal distance in equal interval of time. Okay, ah, nampak beza kan? Mudah saja kita nak beza kan. Uniform speed ada ah, sama uh, apa? interval of time dan equal distance. Kalau kita plot cantik dapat a straight line. Okay, meanwhile, for uh, non-uniform, okay, this sebenarnya equal interval of time but covers unequal distance. 
process okay masa sama je tapi kadang-kadang ada yang cepat ada yang lambat so tak equal okay okay now let's move to example 3 okay Farid drove a trailer for 170 km within the first 2 hours and 190 km within the next 4 hours Did Farid drive the trailer at the uniform speed? Okay, explain. Okay, uh, so macam mana? Uh, kita cuba kira. Okay, kita cuba kira speed. Okay, speed for the first two hour okay so the first two hour is tadi speed apa total dis, uh, distance over time betul okay so the distance is 170 km and two hours and you calculate press your calculator so you get 85 km per hour okay meanwhile the speed for the next 4 hours okay so the distance is 190 km in 4 hours okay so you will get 47.5 km per hour so now we compare uh, uniform speed ke tak the first 2 hours is 85 the next 4 hours is 47.5 okay uh, sini kita dah nampak uh, not uniform speed uh, so kita boleh buat ok therefore the speed for the trailer is non uniform ok clear mudah sahaja betul ok now let's look at example 4 ok Encik Mahesh Okay He plays golf right Okay Encik Mahesh Hit the golf ball From pole P To pole S Passing through Pole Q And pole R Did the golf ball Have a uniform speed Explain Okay now Kalau kita tengok gambar If you refer to this diagram Okay this picture Okay Mr. Mahesh Okay from P to Q Okay, the distance is 40 meter in 2 second. And then from Q to R, 70 meter in 3.5 second. And R to S, the distance is 60 meter in 3 second. Okay, now we need to calculate, okay, uh, separately the speed for PQ, QR and R, S. Then we can conclude. Okay, now let's calculate the speed for... PS uh, speed PS so we have oh sorry PQ PQ first okay PQ okay so for PQ the distance is 40 so 40 divided 40 meter divided by 2 second okay so 40 divided by 2 is 20 so the speed is 20 meter per second Next, calculate the speed for QR. Okay, tadi PQ, now QR. The distance is 70 meter divided by 3.5 second. Okay, so you will get 20 meter per second as well. Okay, and finally speed RS. Okay. RS 60 meter in 3 second okay so 60 divided by 3 is 20 as well okay so kat sini kita nampak PQ 20 meter per second QR 20 meter per second RS pun 20 meter per second so what can we conclude okay therefore the speed of the golf ball is uniform okay
boleh simple sahaja okay for this uh, chapter you need to um, focus on the unit okay look at the unit at the diagram and the question okay sometimes it's different so if difference you need to do some conversion of uh, unit okay okay next learning standard okay average speed okay for average speed okay learning standard perform calculation involving speed and average speed including unit conversion ah tengok boleh tadi cakap kan so you need uh, no you need to know about unit conversion okay now the example here okay the electric train services ets okay from kuala lumpur to butterworth moves at a non uniform speed in this situation the average speed is used to give an idea of the speed of the train okay so tadi kita belajar speed sahaja speed distance over time okay now to calculate average speed okay the new formula is okay total distance over total time total ni maksud the whole journey lah okay okay so now let's look at the first example Okay, example 5. Okay, Ame started cycling from his house to town A at 9 a.m. Okay, ni Ame. Along the way, he stopped at pizzeria to rest and eat before he resumed his journey. Okay, dia basikal, berhenti kejap makan dan berehat, ambil tenaga. Okay, and then he arrives in town A at 12:15 pm calculate the average journey speed of the journey in kilometer per hour okay sini dia dah state dah kilometer per hour okay so uh, in all your calculation please make sure okay you use kilometer and hour okay okay so now how to calculate how to solve this problem okay so we know that uh, average speed right okay so average speed okay average speed is total distance over total time okay so we need to find lah uh, do we need to look total distance and total time okay so total distance okay total distance okay so from house to town Okay, so we have 10 km plus 25 km. So overall, we have 35 km. Okay, and then total time. Okay, total time. Okay, paling, okay, dia sampai 12.15. Okay, started at 9, betul? Okay, so kita boleh buat macam ni. Okay, 12.15 minus 0.900. Okay, 24 hour system eh. Okay, so kita ada 3 hours 15 minute. Okay, boleh. Okay, now kita kena kira average speed. Okay, so average speed. Okay, is total distance. Okay, total distance over total time. Okay, total distance. Okay, please make sure in kilometer. Okay, betul? Kilometer. Okay, betul? So, 35 kilometer. Okay, total time pula mesti in hours only. Okay, but we have 3 hours 15 minutes. Ah, so, macam ni kita nak buat? So, kita cuba convert. Okay, so 15 minutes, minute, okay, nak tukar ke dalam hours, macam mana? 15 divided by 60, betul? Uh, so 15 divided by 60, you will get 0 0.25, okay? So total time is uh, 3.25 hours, okay, boleh? Okay, so press your calculator 35 divided by 3.25 and you will get something like okay, 10.77 kilometer per hour. Okay. 
Okay clear? Okay, uh, cabaran di sini sebenarnya adalah unit conversion. Okay, ke awak kena ingat balik unit conversion yang awak dah belajar masa sekolah rendah. Okay, boleh. Okay, we proceed with example 6. Okay, example 6. A bus departs from Puchong at 8.25. Okay, this system 24 hours eh. 24 hours system. So, morning lah. 08.25. Okay. And arrive in Parai at 13.45 uh, 13.45 maksudnya 1.45 petang lah ok perai pinang lah kan ok if the total distance travel is 354 km calculate the average speed in km per hour ok so first kita kena tahu dulu ok saya zoom ok we need to know the total distance Okay, so from the question, we know that total distance is 3, 5, 4. So, 3, 5, 4 kilometer. And then, total time. Okay, total time. Kita tolak lah. Ada cantik dan di dalam 24 hour system. We just uh, minus. Okay, so 13, 45 minus 0, 825. Okay. So, what will you get? When you press the calculator, okay. so one three four five minus zero eight two five. So what can happen? Five twenty dol. Ah zero five two zero. Okay, yang ni sebenarnya bermaksud five hours twenty minutes. Okay, boleh. Okay, now apa masalah kita? Ha, kita mesti semua hours. Tak boleh ada minutes. So, minutes. Okay, awak tukar siap-siap. Okay, so kita ada 20 minutes. Okay. So, kita ada 20 divided by 60. Betul? Ha, so, 20 divided by 60. Ha, awak akan dapat something like 1 over 3. Ha, 1 over 3 hours. Okay, ataupun kita boleh ha, buat puluhan lah. 0. 3, 3 hours uh, Boleh ambil 2 decimal places Ok Tak ada masalah Ok So kita calculate Average speed Ok uh, Cuba biasakan diri tulis rumus Ok So total distance Ok Divide by total Time Ok So total distance is 354 km Divide by time is 5 0.33 hours 5.33 hours so press your calculator okay you will get 66.42 kilometer per hour okay for mathematics okay dari uh, paling pun two decimal places is okay okay so far okay class okay so saya harap semua boleh follow